Hi, in this video I am presenting my last class called Realistic Vector Art Principles. So please watch it until the end because you're going to get there all the insights about what you're going to be learning. And it's a pretty long class, it's about three hours and a half. So I think you're going to have the chance to just, you know, learn a lot. So as usual, you know you have the links to this class in the description for this video. So let's watch the intro and I will see you there. Hello and welcome to this class where you're going to learn everything you need to know about realistic vector illustration. The aim of this class is for sure not learning how to create a perfect realistic car because that's just the consequence of a full learning process where you are going to get all the insights and all the methods in order to get these high-end results. I've been working with vectors for some years now as a designer and illustrator and I have created commission work and illustrations for most of the main software companies like Bohemian Coding's Sketch, Gravit that is now part of Core Corporation where I work developing the software itself and of course Serif's Affinity Designer. We are going to be working together on the fly which means that you will have the chance to see all the challenges we're gonna find along the way together with me and how to solve them. So for this, most of the classes are recorded and presented in real speed, except when we're repeating concepts. But for sure, you can always fast forward, rewind, stop, skip, play it fast, play it slow. And for sure, should you have any doubt, ask me. So in this class, I am the teacher, but so many other times I am the student. And if there's one thing that makes me choose one class over another one is seeing a committed teacher. So you can be sure I'm going to be with you all through the process. And should you have any doubts or questions, you can always ask me. We will be using Affinity Designer for this class, but these principles and methods apply to any vector software out there. So the aim of this class is not learning how to use this or that tool. I expect you to be an intermediate user who knows about layers, transparencies, gradients, and Boolean operations. And that's all it takes. I can assure you we're not gonna be here using a full arsenal of tools. It's much easier than that. What we're gonna be learning here is when and where to use these tools in a much more clever way. So let's go now. Let's start this class together and let's become a much better artist. Let's go. 